Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Van Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record on. 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Imago Mena. They touch gloves and we are underway. You ready? Are you ready? All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early, and he lands often. Big ball from the rest land. Now he gets back to range. Oh! 
Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big kick land. Rips the body there. And he landed the right hand there. That was a thudding leg kick. Good punch land. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big punch land. Ooh. Just over three minutes now to go. Magomedov gets tagged by a solid uppercut there. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Lands flush with that right hand. Missed with that attempt. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. Big head kick lands. Back and forth we go. <laughs> Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Now connects with a rock. Nice punch by Nermago Metal. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Right hand plus the clinch. Beautiful body kick. Right hand there. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to be kicked like that. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmago Medal. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing this skill every single day. Oh, nice jab. Misses again with a right punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, a huge block there. Lands the right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. 30 seconds to go. And that one certainly found the target. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here. Though. 10 seconds now in round one. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Nermago Meta. Five minutes in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, round two. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots. He hates to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Went for the inside leg kick. Nice kick. Big head kick land. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Back and forth we go! Oh, high amplitude head kick! Oh, straight right! He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg position. Visible damage, and you see him start to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Right, okay, okay, oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Slipped that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Yeah. Big kick land. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. A beautiful kick. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Beautiful strike. Big body kick land. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. And splits the guard, lands the right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Nurmago Medov gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just out of range with that right hand. Let's move that head. Let's move that head oh, big punch land. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering, nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. 20 seconds left. Nice leg kick. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Right hand upstairs. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. 
He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. He's a close one, man. I need you to go out there. Everything you got. Keep putting the pressure on. Put that pace on him. He can't keep that. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Ready? round. High Ready? number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. What a punch. Visibly limping here. Nurmagomedov gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Oh, rips the body shot there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Nurmagomedov. Way to hide that leg kick. Nice punch there. Oh, collar tie. What a head kick. Head kick blocked. Doing good. It's okay. Move as your footwork. Slips that left hand. Gets the elbow off into the target. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, straight right. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Nice strike. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Right hook to the head block. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Back and forth we go. And nice punch, Lance. And they separate. Left hand punch. punch. Just missed with the leg kick. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clutch. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. There's a kick. Right hook to the body. Shot land. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Just out of range with that right hand. Single collar tie here. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. That is as big a strike as he has landed 
thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. He can't even, he can barely stand. Able to land with the lead uppercut there. What a round. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, let us now check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and how about that flying knee? I mean, who does that? Who jumps off the ground and throws a knee? Who propels himself to throw a flying knee? I would never. Right. It's too dangerous. Risk versus reward. You try anything out there, but I guess that's why it's a video game. I probably pull a muscle or something. <laughs> All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Punch coming. It's blocked. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land the strike. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. to establish that jab. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards. Oh! Oh, straight right. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice loop and punch. Oh, big head kick. Lands with the right hand. Wow, what a kick. Nice defense there. Huge block. It's broken, I think. Come on, keep those hands up. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Under two minutes to go. All right, he makes it a single collar tie. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Oh, nice knee to the body, very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Leg kick thrown. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, nice. Big kick. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here. Left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. 
got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to speed up the inside thigh. That is the technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Great punch landed with so much power. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the course on his own low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Right on the button. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Ten seconds remaining in round four. The round is over, gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful round, that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Fifth and final round. That was a nice try. It's such a fast leg kick. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Oh, what a punch. Flush right hand is true. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really thus far, how's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Just missed with the left there. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Nice punch lands over the top. And they separate. Pretty good right hand. the turnover in that kick. Yes. Trying to establish that jab once again. Punch over the top. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming to block most of the strikes that are coming at him. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Great punch. Nice leg kick lands. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body. It could in the night. Back to the feet now. Oh, the Superman punch lands. Another clinch position. Look for a level change as he tries to secure a takedown. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Punch there by Nermago Meta. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Wow. Andy lands the knee to the body now. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. 
seconds and counting remain in the fight. Big leg kick lands. Finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Hermago Medov gets hit with a kick. Right hand upstairs. Nice punch there by Nermago Meta. Just misses there with the left. 30 seconds now to go in the round. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Body shot there. Trying to kick the leg out. There's no tell on that leg kick. Nice straight punch. Block that kick to the body. All right, so there it is, the final horn. A lifetime of work, all building to this moment. And the underdog challenger comes up large with his striking game tonight. He's going to be the new champ. I mean, he came up big in a massive spot. He was the underdog. He wasn't supposed to get this done. He relied on what got him here, the striking, to take the title from the long-reigning champion. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Assassin. All right, so how about it? There is a new baddest man on the planet. There he is, the now undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. He thought he was going to get the champion out of there tonight. He thought he'd get the finish. Instead, he needs all five rounds to get the job done here tonight, but the judges saw